Hello, I'm Andy. Today, I would like to introduce you to the subway system in Seoul. Korea has a well-developed and extensive public transportation system that covers the entire country. The system is reliable, efficient, and affordable, making it the preferred choice of travel for many locals and tourists. The main modes of public transportation in Korea include buses, subways, trains, and taxis. Buses are the most common form of transportation and are operated by both public and private companies. They are inexpensive and run frequently, making them a convenient option for short and long distances. Subways are also a popular mode of transportation in larger cities like Seoul, Busan, and Daegu. The subway system is extensive, easy to navigate, and offers fast travel times, making it a popular choice for commuters. Korea also has an extensive train network, which connects major cities and regions. There are several types of trains, including high-speed KDX trains, which can reach speeds of up to 300 km per hour. Taxis are readily available in most cities and are a convenient option for short trips or when traveling in groups. They are generally safe, reliable, and affordable. Korea has also introduced various technologies to improve the public transportation system, such as T-Money cards, which can be used to pay for fares on buses, subways, and taxis. Overall, Korea's public transportation system is modern, efficient, and affordable, making it a convenient and reliable option for both locals and tourists. Seoul Subway is a rapid transit system serving the city of Seoul, the capital of South Korea. It is operated by the Seoul Metropolitan Subway Corporation and consists of 23 lines with a total length of 975.8 kilometers and 720 stations as of 2021. The Seoul Subway is known for its efficiency, reliability, and cleanliness. It is also one of the busiest subway systems in the world with an average daily ridership of over 7 million passengers. The system is well connected to other modes of transportation in the city, including buses, taxis, and intercity trains. The Seoul subway operates from around 5.30 am until midnight, with trains running at intervals of 2 to 15 minutes, depending on the line and time of day. Most stations have free Wi-Fi access and provide various amenities, such as restrooms, convenience stores, and food vendors. The Seoul subway is an impressive public transportation system with nine lines, and a history dating back to 1970. One of the unique features of this subway is that it displays the exact location and arrival time of the next train at each station. Additionally, the subway system is well known for being exceptionally clean, and all platforms are equipped with screen doors to prevent accidents. Despite its many impressive features, what is perhaps most surprising about the Seoul subway is the low fare cost. The basic fee is only 1,251, which is roughly equivalent to $1 USD. Furthermore, senior citizens over the age of 65 can ride for free, making the subway an affordable and accessible transportation option for all residents and visitors of Seoul. Moreover, all subway stations have toilet facilities, and the system maintains high punctuality rates, ensuring that passengers arrive at their destinations on time. During the winter season, heated seats are available, and priority seating is reserved for the elderly, disabled individuals, and pregnant women. Each Seoul subway line is like a thread in the tapestry of this vibrant city, weaving its way through the fabric of the metropolis and connecting its people to every corner of the urban landscape. Line 1, the oldest and most venerable of them all, is like a wise elder, with its weathered stations and its dignified air. It runs from the heart of Seoul to the city's southernmost tip, passing through some of the most historic and iconic landmarks along the way. Line 2, the lifeline of the city, is like a bustling artery, 
pulsing with the energy of millions of commuters who rely on it every day. It circles the city in a grand loop, connecting the north to the south, the east to the west, and everything in between. Line 3, with its distinctive yellow cars, is like a ray of sunshine, illuminating the city with its cheerful disposition. It winds its way through the city's western neighborhoods, passing through both residential and commercial areas, and serving as a vital link for those who live and work in this part of town. Line 4, with its iconic green cars, is like a verdant vine, snaking its way through the heart of the city and reaching out to the suburbs beyond. It connects the city's central districts to the north and the southeast, passing through some of the most vibrant and lively neighborhoods along the way. Line 5, with its deep blue cars, is like a tranquil river flowing through the city's eastern districts and bringing a sense of calm to the urban chaos. It connects the city's major universities and cultural landmarks and provides a vital link for those who live and work in this part of town. Line 6, with its sleek purple cars, is like a futuristic monorail, soaring above the city's streets and offering a bird's eye view of the urban landscape below. It connects the city's eastern and southwestern districts, passing through some of the city's most modern and innovative neighborhoods along the way. Line 7, with its stately maroon cars, is like a regal procession, moving through the city's southern districts with a sense of purpose and determination. It connects the city's southern suburbs to the downtown area and serves as a vital lifeline for those who commute between the city and the surrounding areas. Line 8, with its bright pink cars, is like a playful party train, winding its way through the city's eastern neighborhoods and bringing a sense of joy and whimsy to the urban landscape. It connects the city's major theme parks and cultural landmarks and provides a vital link for those who seek adventure and fun. Line 9, with its metallic silver cars, is like a modern marvel, weaving its way through the city's southeastern districts with a sense of speed and efficiency. It connects the city's major airports and high-tech districts and serves as a vital link for those who work and travel in this part of town. And finally, the newest addition to the Seoul subway system, the AREX line, is like a gateway to the world, connecting the city to Incheon International Airport and beyond. It provides a vital link for travelers and commuters alike and serves as a symbol of the city's ever-expanding horizons and its global ambitions. Each Seoul subway line is unique and special in its own way, and together they form the beating heart of this incredible city, bringing its people closer together and linking them to the world beyond. The application I recommend on the Play Store for foreigners is the Todaji Hachal app, provided by the Seoul Subway Corporation. You can use it in English. Purchase subway tickets way is First, you must find your way to one of the many ticket vending machines that are scattered throughout the subway, stations, like, gems, in a treasure trove. Once you have located a machine, simply follow the instructions on the screen. The machines are intuitive and easy to use, with clear and concise menus that guide you through the process step by step. You can purchase a single ride ticket, a rechargeable T-Money card, or a one-day pass, depending on your needs and preferences, and don't worry if you don't speak Korean. The machines have multilingual options that make it easy for travelers from all over the world to navigate the system and purchase their tickets with ease. Once you have your ticket or card in hand, you can enter the turnstiles and make your way to the platform. The journey begins here, as you board the train and feel the rush of the wind on your face and the hum of the tracks beneath your feet. You are now part of the heartbeat of the city, connected to its people and its culture in a way that is both exhilarating and humbling. Another payment system is the T-Money card, like a loyal companion that is always by your side, ready to take you wherever you need to go. This rechargeable card can be loaded with funds at any time, and it can be used not only on the subway, 
but also on buses and taxis throughout the city. Using the T-Money card is like casting a spell, as you simply touch the card to the reader at the turnstile, and watch, as the gates magically open, allowing you to enter the world of the subway. The system is fast and efficient, allowing you to move quickly and seamlessly through the stations, without the need to fumble with coins, or bills. You can buy T-Money cards at subway information, or convenience stores, and you can charge the appropriate amount according to your needs. To summarize, the introduction of the subway system in Seoul was a significant achievement that has had a positive impact on the city's transportation, economy, and quality of life for its citizens. It has become a model for other cities around the world and is a testament to the hard work and vision of those involved in its planning and implementation. I hope that all of you who visit Korea will use the subway safely and conveniently. Thanks for watching.